Hi there, booktube! My name is Christina and welcome or welcome back to my channel Novel Niche. Today, as you may see from the title, I'm here for a very, very exciting video because finally it's that time of the year, we are approaching November and I'm here with my November non-fiction TBR. Because again, this year, lovely Book Olive here on Booktube is hosting non-fiction November and it's a month-long event during which we're all, as a community, try to promote the reading experience of reading non-fiction, because non-fiction is often regarded as something uh, maybe dull or boring and very school-related, but it's not. It can be so fun, there are so many niches in it, and yeah, niches. I really wanted to use that world since it's in the name of my channel. And uh, it's just such an amazing experience to go out there and search for new things to learn. And they're not boring, they can be funny and quirky and unusual and wherever you want. Just go and give it a try. And the purpose is just to read more nonfiction than you're used to. So if you've never read anything, non-fiction, then just read one book and you're good to go. If you're an avid non-fiction reader, try to read it more or prioritize only non-fiction during non-fiction November. And that's the path that I will be following. I will try and focus solely on non-fiction during November. I'm not sure if I will be able to, but I will give it a try. And before getting right into the books, I'm so sorry for the strange lighting in it, but it's autumn. I'm losing light very, very quickly here. It's 3 p.m. and it's so dark in here, <laughs> it seems like late evening. It just drives me crazy every time, the changing of seasons and of life is so intense, but yeah. We'll roll with it and let's get to the actual non-fiction TBR. We have four possible prompts to follow, you don't have to, but if you're curious and want to challenge yourself a bit more, then you can follow the four prompts, there are four single words, which means that you can use your imagination and twist and tweak around it as you please, because I didn't want to buy new books, so I tried to use what I already have and to make it fit into the prompts that we were given for this year. And let's go in order. I will have a mix of physical and audiobooks, and the very first prompt that we had was collection. And I decided that for me, for collection, I will go with a collection of case studies, because this is a non-fiction book that I bought uh, a couple of years ago, I believe, at this point, and I was so excited, but I never got to it, so it seems like the perfect moment, and it's Invisible Women. And uh, the subtitle is Exposing Data Bias in a World Designed for Men, men by Caroline Criado Perez. And this is a collection of case studies, and pretty much she goes through our world and the way it's been designed, having men in mind and not women. And uh, this is an interesting concept. I never thought about it or never gave it like a second more in-depth thought. So. I think that I will really enjoy this one, it really piqued my interest back in the days, so I'm so ready to read it. And unfortunately my edition has this printed on sticker award thing, I don't know why we do these two books, but whatever, we have it. And this is kinda a chunker actually, because it's like 400 pages, more or less, so in quite a small font, so I think that it's packed with information. So for me, it's a collection of case studies. The second prompt that we had, or we have, is industry. industry. And I decided to go with an audiobook that I saved on my phone, like, again, back in the days, but I never gave it a real try, and it's In the Land of Men. And in this case, we will be... We, Today I cannot speak apparently. We will be following an, a literary editor in a um, field that was really dominated by male just because she worked for Esquire and it's a man focused magazine like that was created for men and that was 
created by men. <laughs> so she was the first, I believe, and I'm really interested in seeing the background scenes, like the behind the scenes, what happened and how she lived that situation. And I think that it has the premise for a great story. So I'm very curious and I hope that I will enjoy the audiobook. The third prompt is style. And here I have a physical book that I recently bought. I believe I bought it this year or at the end of last year. I'm not sure at this point. Time, what is time? Timely, why me? Yeah. Uh, we have Mad and Bad Real Parents of the Regency by Bia Koch. And first of all, style goes with this cover because it's very stylish and this bright pink on a century kind of painting, so it seems very fitting. Plus style, because I think here we will be discovering the lifestyle of four different women. The, and their lifestyle was quite unique, I believe, since they're called mad and bad heroines. So I cannot wait to give it a try. It has a very strange format. It's more like a square shaped, I don't know, a, a bit strange. Very floppy, and we love floppy books, of course. And this one is 250-ish pages, so definitely doable and I cannot wait to get to this one. The last prompt that we have is treatment. And for treatment, I decided to go with two possible audiobooks. They're kind of similar, not exactly, but like one is the consequence of the other. Yeah, in my mind, it has all of the sense, but I don't know if it does in the real world, whatever. <laughs> the first option that I have for, for myself is This is Going to Hurt. And this is a non-fiction audiobook, or book, if you have the physical one. And it's kind of the recollection and the experience of a doctor. So, treatment course, medicine, treatment, doctor. And this is a well-beloved well one. A lot of people listened or read it and loved it, so I have high hopes. And the other one I'm interested in is what? While <laughs> will my cat eat my eyeballs? What a title. Yeah. And in this one, we're following um, a woman who goes through a lot of children-made questions about death, so treatment, the treatment of bodies and of death seemed like a natural consequence of the doctors, I believe, in my mind. Yeah, if everything goes very, very wrong, of course, but yeah, it's kind of connected in my mind. So one will lead to the other if I will have time, but this is described as very funny and witty and I believe that she's a mortician or something related to that one, to that profession. So it seems like perfect for autumn and plus it's funny and quirky and strange. So why not to give it a try? And so these are my five nonfiction books that I'm planning to read or listen to in November. I hope that you've already read some of these and will leave me down below a comment about what were your thoughts. Or if not, let me know what are you planning to do for nonfiction November, if you will be taking part in this reading experience or not. And uh, I think that this is it. I hope that I will be able to get to all of those books and of course I will have a wrap-up on this channel later about all of the experience at the end of November. So, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you very very soon in my next one. Bye! Ciao!